when you were little, do you remember going over to people's houses and them having pianos in their homes? The truth is, the piano is becoming less and less common. An article done by Los Angeles Times reveals that the sale of the piano has drastically dropped from 2000 to 2007 by almost 50%. Today we will look at the instrument that everyone seems to be forgetting and uncover the origin of the piano, the many different types and variations of the instrument, and some of the most famous pianists. The history of the piano is interesting to say the least. Before the piano was actually invented, there were early ancestors of the instrument being invented during the Renaissance, such as the hammered dulcimer, the harpsichord, and the clavichord. Although these were fantastic instruments at the time, according to Hoffman Academy of July 7, 2020, they just weren't loud enough to be played in a large hall or with other instruments. So towards the end of the Renaissance, a man named Bartolomeo Cristofori from Italy made the first piano and named it Un Cambalo di Cipresso di Piano e Forte, which translates to a keyboard made of cypress wood with soft and loud. After Cristofori invented the piano, a man from Germany named Gottlieb Silbermann, with the help of Ohan Sebastian Bach, who became the very first piano salesman, invented a piano where sounds still rang after you took your fingers off the keys. They called the instrument the piano e forte, which translates to soft and loud, which later simply became known as the piano. Now that we have uncovered the origin of the piano, let's take a look at the many different variations. The main two variations of the piano are the ground and the upright. Grand pianos are the most majestic and largest of the pianos, not to mention the most expensive. The 88 keys consist of wood-coated ivory or sometimes even pure ivory. This type of piano resembles a table while the upright resembles a sort of shelf. The upright piano is what you are most likely to find in a home and is the most common and popular acoustic piano. Now that we have taken a look at the different types and variations of the piano, we will learn about the, some of the most famous pianists. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was born in 1756 in Salzburg. According to BBC of December 23rd, 2019, by the age of 16, Mozart had visited Italy, England, France, and Germany, had met many important musical and political figures, and had had three operas performed in Milan. His work was most heavily influenced to Ludwig van Beethoven, who was also an incredible pianist. He was born in 1770 in Germany and his music is some of the most composed in the world. He composed over 32 piano sonatas, 16 string quartets, five concertos, and nine symphonies. Today we have uncovered the origin of the piano, the many different types and variations of the piano, and some of the most famous pianists. We might not all have a piano in our home, but we can surely appreciate how far the instrument has come, no matter how, how forgotten it has been. In the words of Beethoven, music is a higher revelation than all wisdom and philosophy.